All right, there we go. Okay, snowboard course. Determine the shape of a snowboard course, currently known as a half pipe, to maximize the production of vertical air by a skilled snowboarder. Tailor the shape to optimize other possible requirements, such as maximum twist in the air. What trade-offs may be required to develop a practical course? This is a, a very challenging competition. Students download the problems at 8 p.m. on a Thursday evening. They are not allowed to talk to any individual. They are able to access books, anything on the web, but no animate sources. Before 8 p.m. on Monday, 96 hours later, they uh, produce a PDF copy of their work and submit it to the COMAP site. We are one of 3,000 teams. It's very scary and exciting at the same time. I guess we could try like coming up with some sort, some sort of like generic formula and yeah. a bunch of parameters yeah, and try yeah. program for guess and checking that. It starts up with a little yeah. speed, only slightly above the whip. But basically, he's constantly going downhill. Yeah, exactly. That gives us three dimensions to work with here. You have to account for um, what snowboarders actually do, which is reduce their air resistance when they're on a downslope. Well, yeah, which might be realistic for how an actual pipe works. Yeah. I mean, I've watched X Games, but I've never snowboarded. The, the, this equation that we're trying to write is really kind of blowing up. Yeah, your assignment is to look to see if we can get this contraction mapping, because that'd be the most beautiful way of see, dealing with this. I, I kind of like this problem, though it looks like... though. It's shaping up to be kind of tricky. I'm not 100% uh, sure whether we can uh, code and stop it. Hey, you guys are. Not much further than yesterday. We have an idea, uh, and now we need to figure out how to implement it. What we're trying to do is to try to find uh, the best shape of a snowboard half pipe. And we've been comparing that to what they currently use, which is semicircles. Uh, that's an actual half pipe. Yeah, yeah. How, how do you update that from the new energy? Velocity equals like E minus MGH. Coordinate system? Um, what, where do you define variables? No, no, no. no. 1.1 1. 1 or 2? 1.1.1 definitions. So you got the center of rotation O, um, and this guy's moving from here to here. If you include everything, it becomes really, it becomes almost unapproachably hard. It's kind of crunch time now, and I'm not sure how close we are to finished. We have a couple of formulas to put in, and um, a couple of results to put in. I wish we had a couple more hours to work on this. Oh my god. Right there. Um, we don't really do, we do a little bit of sensitivity analysis. We don't do a whole lot of error analysis, but we say order we of H squared. We order H squared. Okay. We have 40 minutes left. I don't want to read that much stuff. And also, this curvature should be changed to concavity. Bizarre. This is a very bad time to have this error. What does the actual error say? Good enough. Oh. No, not good enough. Must be received by 8 p.m. Yep. All right, what's the title? Oh, I'm building a better half pipe. OK, where's the control sheet? You see my backpack, but it's not important right now. OK, okay. We, need a, we need our team number and the date. All right, just, add the, just put the date under that line, or somewhere on that. Here so it is. Solution. All right, and sent. I can't believe it's actually 1177. Make sure it's sent. Yeah, make sure it's sent. Yep. Yay. All right. All right. Well, now that we submitted it, let's make sure we followed all the criteria. <laughs> <laughs> it looks right, though.